right, guys, are you ready? Today, I have with me the ultimate SUV off-road car. This is Mercedes G-Class, G63 AMG. It comes with a four liter petrol engine, 585 horsepower, 850 Newton meters, and is just fabulous. In this video, I will make the full review, interior, exterior. I will explain you every single detail about the car. If you wanna buy the car, if you wanna order the car, if you are around Switzerland or in Switzerland, check out Tehash Willy. I will leave the link in the description. So if you want to order it or if you want to see the car, test drive, check them out. They have incredible cars and you can order some amazing car. And this is somehow stylish and it has everything on it. It's full option, carbon fiber elements almost everywhere on the car. And I will show you and I will present you in this video. Also, the price of the car, stay tight, 315000 francs i will add the price in dollars so we can make an idea with all the options that the car come and i will present you it's just incredible i mean this is the ultimate show off suv and i'm not sure if you will go off road with carbon fiber around the edges of the wheels but if you want to show off if you want to drive on the street with a beast that has incredible sound when you accelerate i mean the exhaust pipes are crazy you can hear it right now a little bit so what do you think it's, it's just fabulous anyway guys let me go to technical data and then we will start with a review interior exterior as always so first of all like i tell you before the car come with a four liter petrol engine v8 585 horsepower 850 newton meters it's connected with a nine speed automatic transmission g-tronic amg speed shift plus incredible combination trust me it's a four wheel drive of course and the top speed of the car 220 kilometer per hour for such a big SUV incredible and what is more incredible the 0 to 100 it's in 4.5 second crazy and what is more crazy about the car is the CO2 emission 373 I think this is the biggest emission car that I review until now the weight of the car 2485 kilograms the boot space capacity 667 liters and if you try to somehow fold down the seats, I'm, I'm not sure if it's working on this model that I have with me, but if you fold it completely, the maximum space is 1,941 liters. But I will show you in the video a little bit later why you cannot fold the seats down, but you can also array it. But anyway, stay with me. The fuel tank capacity of the car, 100 liters. The drag coefficiency of the car, 0 0.55 also the turning circle 13.51 meters also the car come with amazing brakes i will show you in a second amg brakes red brake calipers look phenomenal on the car ventilated brake this on the front ventilated brake this on the rear and it comes with 22 inch rims now guys that was the technical data and information and now let's start the review and in the end we will make the conclusion something that i forget to tell you this is a special limited edition the g63 404 square they call it because it's actually double the normal and it's a little bit higher and bigger so this is something that you should keep in mind so now let's start the review first of all we will start with the key and here on the back of the key we have the amg logo that looks fabulous and also on the front we have amg down here and we have lock and unlock button, that's all. I mean, you can unlock the car and you can see when you unlock it, it has a nice playing light, you know, like from low to high. Uh, and also it comes with electric folding mirrors. You can see right here when you uh, lock the car, the mirrors will fold in a great feature to the car other than that this is the key you cannot do anything else with the key now i want to turn on the lights and we will talk a little bit about the exterior design before i turn on the lights and we talk about the exterior design i want to tell you that the ground clearance on this g-class g63 this is special edition with bigger rims and a little bit higher it's incredible i mean the ground clearance it's it's fabulous and if you want to go inside the car even though it's a big ground clearance you can go very easy inside the car because you have this step here 
but I want to show you something. Let me go really nice and slow here. Let me put it in Sport Plus. And now let's start the engine, guys. Press the brake. The sound, it's, it's fabulous. So the, the great part is that they still keep that incredible, incredible sound because it's not a brand new model and the emission are like 373 grams. They still somehow keep the, let me turn on the light. They somehow keep the, the sound guys. Uh, they keep this sound. They still have, the car still have that incredible sound. Now with those new regulation, the cars are not hollow to sound like this, but it's just incredible. The, the sound is incredible. Let's go forward. I have so many things to show you on this car. The sound was one of it and I was like super impressed. Now, first of all, I love the color. I think this is the perfect color to buy this car in. It's a perfect SUV color, like a off-roader. It's incredible. I don't know the name of the color, uh, I will ask and probably I will add it in the description of the video, but I think the color fits really nice with the car. Now, because this is a special edition and it's high up, it's not the normal kind of G, G class, uh, it looks just fabulous. I mean, it, it stands out so much and it's so tall. And what was impressive for me is that how much carbon fiber element the car have on it and how nice it looks. It's like a great collection car, to be honest, even though for many years from now, you can, you can hold this car for, for 100 years. I think this car will hold his value, and not only his value, but also will hold that, I don't know, classic look, classic car. It's fabulous, really. Also, it looks in a big way. What do you think? 22 inch rims, by the way. Look at the front end, LED everywhere, the latest is technology. You don't find any bulb light on this car. High beam, low beam, full LED, turning signals, everything look in a big way. What do you think? What do you think about the car, guys? You like it? I think this is it. It's really amazing. I will go a little bit higher here. This is the roof where you can add a lot of things. You can also sleep here if you go in Sahara in the desert. You can make your camping here because <laughs> I'm sure you want to be safe there. It has also a glass roof that I will show you later when we go inside. And here, what was impressive for me is that we have carbon fiber in the front end here. So you can see how nice it looks. You have lights up here also on the both sides. But all this front part, it's made in carbon fiber and it looks just crazy. Here on the both sides, we have the logo AMG V8. B turbo and also behind this AMG we have carbon fiber as I said a lot of elements of carbon fiber also here in the front all this line here in the middle it's made in carbon fiber and this is just crazy the way it looks is fabulous even here as I said before I don't know how can you go off-road with it I, I think if I would buy this car I would like I don't want to go off-road. You have carbon fiber around the, the wheels here. So many car manufacturers these days add that plastic mat in this area. So in order to protect the paint, but they put carbon fiber. Oh boy. It's, it's nice. It looks awesome, but I don't know. It's, it's so, so museum car, I should say, for me at least. Uh, it looks incredible. Also, I like this uh, plate, this step here with aluminum. The exhaust pipes are incredible. We have four exhaust pipes, two on the left, two on the right side. We have AMG logo on them. You see how they sound incredible. Uh, they are very nice design uh, down there. I like very much. And also, if we compare it, the same exhaust pipe on the side here have also Dacia <laughs> Sandero and I think also Dacia Joker. But here, the, the reason is not that they save money. Uh, the reason is that 
it looks also super nice. Where on the Dacia, they do that uh, in order to save some cost. Anyway, let's go forward. In the front part, the same story, carbon fiber here, carbon fiber here, incredible look. Uh, now up here, we have a window, straight window. Up there, we have some camera and sensors for light and raining, and also the car can read the traffic speed limit. Those are the wipers. Everything else looks so clean and nice. The front end, it's so powerful. It looks like a, like a proper beast. We have in the front Mercedes logo in a small way. Then we have here a big Mercedes logo. Behind this uh, logo, we have the radar for adaptive cruise control and all that safety features. We have a front camera because the car comes with 360 degrees camera. The AMG grille in the front, integrated quite nice in the G class here. AMG uh, logo writing, and then look at this. Those are the turning signals in the front. They look also splendid. And we have Mercedes-Benz writing on the side here. Beautiful. Those are the lights, Mercedes-Benz writing there. Those are kind of LED lights, full LED lights, high beam, low beam, matrix LED lights, lovely lights. Look at it. In the nighttime, you see just perfect. And they look so nice on the car, really beautiful. Other than that, it's quite simple. It still keep that classic look uh, of the G-Class. We have here in the front six parking sensors, uh, grill, air intakes also here, grill, air intakes on the down part, on the upside down here uh, and other than that huge ground clearance in the front some glossy black plastic in this area and also in this area and other than that quite quite simple lovely it looks really really good huge mirror in black glossy the turning signal is here on the side on the leg of the mirror um, and also we have a camera for 360 degrees camera and we have also an led light when you open the door i'm not sure if now will work uh, or when you turn on the car, you can see down here a 404 logo. Now, by the way, the doors, they still keep these classic handles from the G-Class. I love those handles. They, they have, they will never die. And the quality of the doors, classic sound. I love that. Big windows, tinted windows here in the back. Uh, also some black plastic element here that looks quite nice. We have the G63 logo in the back. We have full LED on the lights as well, turning signals. You can see the back of the car. Also same powerful, nice look. I like also this protection bar down here, super nice. LED light on the number plate. We have some light reflectors. Again, in the back six parking sensors, very useful. And on the other side, we have the AMG writing here and we have this spare tire. But look at this, 404 to carbon fiber here in this area. Oh boy, what do you think about that? Quality, quality, high class. Love it, really love it. Now, let's talk a little bit about the rims. 22 inch rims, a lot of gummy quite big ground clearance here. Ventilated and cross-drilled brake discs. AMG red brake calipers with four pistons. Love it. In the back, kind of the same story. We have ventilated cross-drilled brake discs and red AMG brake caliper. Lovely, really lovely. Now, let me go on this side. Here we have the tank. 100 liter tank, it's here on the passenger side. And no add blue, oh yeah. That means big emission, but less cost for the driver and for the owner of the car. Anyway, big mirrors, good visibility. We have also blind spot technology right here in the corners. Now I wanna turn off the lights and also the engine and the blinkers, turning signals. And I wanna show you the engine, oh boy. You will love that. What I notice, it's very simple to open the hood. I was expect to be something super complicated, but it's so fancy. It's like it's like from the from a Bentley or anyway something Rolls Royce. Look at this. Oh boy, that's the most easy hood, automatic hood that I ever ever try. This is the engine, V8, four liter petrol engine. 
585 horsepower, 850 newton meters. We have the AMG, what is this carbon fiber here? Beautiful. Then we have there the engineer that make the engine crazy. This is the uh, liquid for the wipers. And this is it guys. Crazy nice, really love it. Now it's super hard for me to close it because the car is so tall. <laughs> oh boy. It's so tall, but you have to close it nice and slowly, just like that. My father was in love with this car. He want to buy one in 2022, I think. Anyway, this is the trunk, big trunk, classic trunk. I like the leather here in this area and the high quality handle, big entrance, flat floor, some chrome design at the entrance really nice very useful and very big lights up left right i like that hooks in every corner now here we have a speaker this comes with the burnmeister sound system and it has also a 12 volt port here so you can um, charge different items big windows here in the back and also they are defrosted i like that very much again um, and that's all i mean if you want to fold down the middle part you can do it from here just like that you can fold down this area and you can carry long items. But the thing that I notice on this model is that you cannot fold down the seats. You can adjust them, but you cannot fold them down. Let me show you. So from here, you have a plastic. So that plastic handle that you can adjust the seats. You can put it straight. You can see there are all the way on the back here. You can put it straight and you can also fold it in front. But because the design of the seats, they are not designed to be folded down. You can see down here as well. And you can fold it down just in this way, but they are not made to be folded down. This is what I notice at least. Maybe I'm wrong. So write me in the comments. Anyway, Isofix for child. We have child seats and both uh, parts so you can install two child seats here uh, overall this is the trunk also you have this stair to go up uh, on the roof quite nice i like it let me close it i think i show you everything here in the back yes let me close the door great now let's go in here i need two hands actually to be able to fold this seat so actually i will sit here and i will try to do it with my back then let me put back this plastic like that and i want to show you in the middle we have uh, an armrest with two cup holders leather lovely leather let me go down for a little bit it's quite complicated because it's a tall car we have leather full leather here inside the car incredible quality i mean uh, those seats from mercedes are crazy good quality and uh, they are perforated uh, leather with stitches white stitches here amg logo it's led lights everywhere on the entrance also i like the fact that you don't have a transmission tunnel it's like none here i love that it's like electric cars i like the fact that also you can have free person here if i go here guys i also adjust the seats in the front it's in my driving position this one it's kind of in the same position uh, and I will show you in a second. If I close the door and I show you the space, by the way, I make some light. This is the space, more than enough. I'm 173 centimeters, by the way, huge, huge space. Uh, the comfort on the seats, put it on the back. It's incredible good, very, very comfortable. Great visibility outside. You have a big window here, big window here. Good quality almost everywhere. Uh, big space also on my legs room. I have a lot of space on my legs room. And also I can kind of stretch my legs under the front seats. Lovely, lovely space. If I go in the middle, as I said, no transmission tunnel. Also here, plenty of space on my legs. Also on my head. I have a lot, a lot of space on my head. Stretch my hand completely here and here. You can have free person here without any problem. And even here in the middle, it's relatively comfortable. It's a little bit stiffer and also a little bit stiffer on my back, but you have a lot of space. It's crazy spacious, the car. You can have free person for long trips without any problem here. And you can be really, really relaxed and also on the head, huge, huge space. Down here, what I noticed, we have an USB and a 12 volt port. And then we have this climatic system up here where you can kind of control it. Let me show you. 
I have to put that contact in order to show you that. So you can choose the 22 degrees or however you want and also the, the vents power. And then we have these incredible, incredible vents. I love those vents from Mercedes. They are super, super good and soft. As you touch it, it's so smooth and they look so nice. Those are my favorite vents. Now, we will go in the front. Look at the front. Look at the... Look at the dashboard, how many LEDs, the car comes with so many LEDs guys, even here in the door I will go and I will show you when I go outside, crazy LED inside, it looks incredible in the night time, you will be amazed on how nice it looks and it's changed, the colors is just fabulous, it's so modern, it doesn't look like you have in an SUV, it's, it's crazy crazy modern and everything looks super nice anyway let's go in the front let's talk about the things there something that i didn't show you here on the roof you have a handle a hook and uh, a light led light and here on the b pillar you have this uh, vent so super super useful now on the back door we have very good quality tinted window big window from one piece uh, also the button for the windows it's up here and if you want to fold it down it goes just until here uh, here we have leather, super high quality leather also here, the same as on the seats, uh, LED light, handle, chrome, uh, we have heated seats on the rear seats, Burmeister speaker, I love those speakers with this kind of uh, aluminum color, the handles are also fancy and we have inside LED lights and here we have some wood insertion, chrome and even here in this area on the down part you have soft material and you have the LED light down there. Now let's go here in the front, one big window, I will show you the visibility when we go inside as well. The same high quality materials on the door, also here in the front, everywhere it's soft material and high, high quality. You can see the stitches, leather everywhere, even here. We have the Burnmeister speaker down here uh, on the down part, LED light, plenty of storage space, wood insertion, handle, Burnmeister speaker. We have ventilated seats, heated seats. Also, you can lock and unlock the the car also adjust electrically the seats from here you can save free position you can save it because they are electrically you can see this glossy black plastic and you can see the light how nice it's reflect in it chrome design leather 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 and ambient light amazing i love the quality and i love the way they design it it's it's inc it's such a shame to go with this car off road i mean ooh. anyway amg again in the front aluminum pedals there also um, and also we have the extinter in the front here it's a must-have uh, on those uh, off-road cars then the entrance relatively big and you can see one more time the seats from here lovely 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 amg seats also incredible they are super comfortable and they, they are really really good i mean when you touch them you have side support you have amg logo here on them even the headrest it's crazy crazy comfortable up there you have also a glass roof uh, and here let me show you something even down here you have leather in this area you have led light insertion in that area crazy quality down here soft here you have leather everywhere uh, electronic handbrake controls for the light here as well lane assist and parking sensors led light leather again gorgeous vents with led lights around there also up here let me go inside now up here guys you have this burmeister speaker really nice design it also in the front everywhere on the dashboard we have leather and soft material i like this handle here on the handle you can see g63 404 incredible some chrome gray design ambient light almost everywhere open this up by the way even here it's soft and good quality material open this up big glow box splendid i mean the quality it's incredible let me close the door the visibility around the windows it's very good very tall driving position you see everything from here in just a perfect way crazy nice also in the back there great visibility around the windows even though the car come with 360 degrees camera here in the middle leather again open this up plenty of space also you have two usb ports here i'm not sure if you can see them 
again wood chrome insertion very nice controllers here now i want to show you something guys from here you can change different driving modes so the car come with a few driving modes like sport plus you hear it before incredible sport comfort individual and slippery now you can also customize every single uh, driving mode so you can see from here you can customize how you want it you can customize also suspension you have a button here sport plus comfort or sport so from this button you can adjust it how you want it uh, traction control on and off here we have the sound of the exhaust pipes who and here we have 360 degrees and low range 360 degrees camera let me close the door i have to close it properly you can see from here by the way this is not a touch screen you have to use these controllers here it's much better uh, while you're driving and you can see the 360 degrees camera it's not the newest this one from mercedes but still it's very useful and the resolution is quite good anyway here we have two cup holders we have a 12 volt port and um, you can also close it like that and up here we have this beautiful watch with radio navigation shortcuts button but the watch look super nice then we have the controls for the climatic system also you can press this menu button and it goes directly to the menu of the climatic system and other than that physical button very easy to adjust i love those vents so raw the way they they kind of combine these uh, new vents with the raw design of the g-class then we have this button when you can actually uh, control the differential and you can lock it and you can choose how you like to have it so the buttons are right here very nice position it going forward the start engine button it's here i want to go and play a little bit in the menu so i can show you this is the menu it's kind of the oldish uh, menu and we have uh, navigation here it works fine and this is the navigation uh, of the car then you have the i want to go quite fast and you have the very important things are here on the vehicle on the vehicle you find all the important things so like seats you can also adjust the seats the climatic control the energizing uh, dynamic select here from the dynamic select you can configure it you can see engine data i love that i mean it looks so nice then you have the vehicle data so information about the car you can see right here quite nice very useful and also when you go off-road you can see the camera in the front on the on the rear in the front or wherever you want to choose what camera you like to see and then you can go also dynamic data where it shows you a lot of information um, about the car as well really cool i mean when you drive in sport mode really interesting i love those things if you go to individual configure it you can configure it all those things the drive mode as i tell you you can choose uh, to configure it everything the drive and I like the, the graphics look so realistic. I mean, it shows you everything. The drive, then you show the transmission. Where is the transmission located on the car? The dynamics of the wheel here. Then you have the suspensions. Then you have the exhaust sound. And you can see the exhaust in a real way. The way they designed it, super nice. God, I love it. I love what Mercedes uh, make with those cars. Now I wanna turn off the climatic system. Let me go back. Now here, assistance systems, all that safety features, you can find it here, so you can activate, deactivate, as I said, you can read the traffic speed limit, parking, lane assist, blind spot, uh, then we have the consumption information, light settings, vehicle settings, on the vehicle settings, we have all that um, tow away protection, interior motion, acoustic, the seat belt, and entry exit, and Overall, this is all. If you go to settings, here are the classic uh, settings like audio, Bluetooth, language, time, units. You can change it from here. But overall, it's a simple one. What I like more about the car, to be honest, it is the cockpit and the steering wheel. I love the steering wheel. That's why I leave it to the end. It's incredible. We have this AMG steering wheel. Lovely grip. It looks so nice. The, I love it. I mean, the grip these little holes the down pedal you can change the gears from here you can have some fun with the car you have amg writing down here you have the possibility to you can activate deactivate the sound of the exhaust the suspension you can uh, change the settings from here and here you can change different driving mode comfort sport sport plus and individual and also slippery 
amazing love it i love the steering wheel it's one of my favorite the gear shifter is here by the way if you want to go in reverse drive park from here you do it very simple like on tesla but mercedes was the first one and the cockpit it's one of my favorite part it looks amazing you have kind of three different uh, cockpits you have sport one classic and progressive progressive is kind of my favorite one i mean from progressive guys you can change a lot of a lot of things you can go left and right and change different views you can see also the navigation on the front and you can also change to classic if you don't like that and you have the classic one and then you can see in the middle there a lot of information you can see also on the left and right side different information about the car and yeah and you can go also in sport mode and we're here you can also customize and change different uh, views right there so overall uh, amazing car really I love it up here this is the mirror you can also see in the back there visibility it's relatively fine but you have a camera in the back so you can also adjust the brightness or different information about uh, the camera down up left right i love that really really very useful uh, on those type of cars here we have some super nice led lights in a nice fancy way and we have a burnmeister speaker up here on the roof really beautiful and the buttons for sos lights and uh, other stuff here we have the mirrors with two lights microphone up there and a handle and the roof quality it's also really really good anyway that was the video guys let me stop the engine i actually let me stop the car because i don't want to kill the battery and let me end up this video i hope i cover everything i hope i didn't forget uh, something here if you still have questions ask me down below whatever question you have i will answer with pleasure also, if you want to see the car, buy the car, test drive the car, check out Tehash Wheelie uh, in Bern. I will leave the link in the description. So check them out, guys. Thank you very much for watching my videos. My rating for this car, taking into consideration price and what it offers. If I will take out the price from the discussion, I will, I will give it a 9.9. .9. But if I take into consideration the price maybe maybe a 9.8 because it's not a brand new model probably the next one will be with the new technology like i mean the new cockpit and all that stuff but but overall it's it's an incredible car anyway really awesome the price keep me a little bit back but if you have the money i think this is the ultimate ultimate beast off-road beast anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it please like share subscribe thank you very much for watching my videos as always stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys